I've never been to Kennywood before, so what is it like? What's gonna happen while I'm here? I have no idea, but I hope you're ready and excited to find out along with me, and let's go! And there's Kennywood. Excited? Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't been to Kennywood in too long. opens at 11 today. It is 10.45 right now. Um, I kind of thought they may have let people in already at this point. It is a very dreary day <laughs> here at Kennywood, uh, but definitely excited to try it out and see what happens. So there are security guys walking around talking about how big bags can be. Um, it's not very big. It's, it's like uh, probably about a foot. <laughs> That's about all. Um, for your bags to be allowed to be. Um, they have like sticks with little black tape around the edge and it has to only go from the edge of the stick to the, where the black tape is. Um, so it's not a big amount of space. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we've, we've had a bag kind of flagged about it. <laughs> so, uh, and if it is too big, then you have to take things out of it so that it'll fit within the amount of space or you have to take it back into the car with you. You also are not allowed to bring in any gimbals into Kennywood. That's kind of a new thing for this year. So I'm handheld <laughs> today. <laughs> I do not have a gimbal with me uh, because I just didn't want to chance it and bring in something that I wasn't allowed to have. And then you do, of course, have to go into the security area, um, the gates before you get in where you can buy your passes and do all that kind of stuff. All right, we are in. The guys are getting some tickets here. Uh, they've graciously given me an extra ticket. If you're working at Cedar Point, you can get some tickets for uh, coming here to Kennywood because it's a partner park from what I understand. Uh, but yeah, this will be fun to come and see it. So I'm not paying for the day. I am being gifted the ticket, which is great. Uh, but I won't let that change my opinions or anything like that. So let's go. Uh, if you need customer service, you can either do it on this side of customer service where the guys got the tickets or on the other side of the gate. You can also come here to this window and get some if you're already in the park and you need some sort of help. Now, Kennywood does not have a lot of entertainment stuff, especially not live entertainment, but they do have a couple of different shows that are uh, happening, uh, basically like end of the day celebrations. Uh, the 125th uh, season uh, is this year, I believe. They're having a celebration for that. Um, they're also doing some other celebrations, some like food, foodie kinds of stuff and things like that. We also have a brand new ride uh, that's here for this season also. Also, you go underground and under a road in order to get into the main park. I kind of like this. This is kind of like a kind of like a Disney kind of an experience here. I also love how people are yelling. And here's Kennywood. Good night, ladies. Now, I think I said earlier that I've never been to Kennywood before. That's actually not true. I did come when I was like 20 something years old. Um, I was in college at the time. So it's been uh, more than a decade. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> so nothing looks familiar, but I'm wondering if something will somewhere along the way. Okay, so I have my first memory here. I remember this lake, but especially this the racer. I have a picture right in front of it. I thought that was so cool and I loved that ride too from what I remember about it. I have no idea what I'll think now. But now Steel Curtain is right next to it. This was not there when I was here last. Is it impressive looking? It is. Yeah. Uh, that is quite a high inversion. Yeah. I'm a little bit afraid. I hear there are no over the shoulder harnesses on that one so I'm uh, a little bit neurotic about that <laughs> but yeah the racer is on the national historic district love that and of course black and gold what else would it be except for Steelers 
Now, I'm not here for the tips and tricks today. I'm just simply here for the experience, <laughs> letting you know what's going on. Uh, these guys have it down. They know what they're gonna do. So, I have no idea. I'm just following along. So, if we make bad decisions, blame Given, don't blame me. <laughs> I do think the theming is kind of fun here. Looks like it may not be open yet. There's a decent line. I'm not sure how long the line is. I don't have an app or anything for this, so. Uh, but it looks like a lot of things aren't quite open. It is drizzly too, so hopefully that doesn't get in our way too much today. We have been in line for about <laughs> one minute and the line immediately starts moving forward. So they just let us get on it um, and into the official queue. This doesn't look like a bad line at all, so that should be pretty decent. I think you guys made a good choice. You also have Hunt's beer over there, and you have this field house, which I, I, I like. I, you know, I'm a whore for theming. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> they do have a tryout seat. I do think the netting is a very good idea. That could be something that Cedar Point could definitely take note of. The line can get fairly long, though. Obviously, not very long for us, though. And this thing is moving real fast. And right up there is the station. Yeah, this first train is the first train of the day with people on it anyway. And this is all the line we're gonna have to wait in. This is not a bad wait at all. I don't care how long this line one is. One train off. Oh, is it just one train? This is one train. Oh, yeah. sick. Okay, but still, it's not gonna be terrible. I was told this is a slow lift hill. And that looks true. <laughs> front row here at Steel Curtain. I'm not sure if I'm okay with this or not, but we're going to do it. <laughs> before attempting to board, once seated, buffle your seat off first before you lower your lap bar. There are some redundant safety harnesses on this ride. I definitely like that better. And also there are some boxes where you can store your extra things if you have cups or whatever you may need to store. Hey, you guys, well, if they're not here, enjoy your ride. Also, very good. There's the whistle. I got the cash in the back. Here we go. Border on the side, call me the number one. You got that. I'm just going to get the car. This is like I'm crazy. I'm mad. Don't be no cap. Think I want to. Better go with the no cash in the back. Stay on the back. like button you know comment engage with the material i love to hear from you guys so let me know what you guys think down below and uh let's go so you're done you come right in here to the do? steelers merch area that was a fantastic ride i did take off my glasses for it um and i did take off my hat for it also uh put those in the bins that was so much fun <laughs> it is incredibly smooth it's uh, very very fun. There's one point where the there's one point where the track actually goes like right underneath the other track, um, and just like follows for part of the length of it. That is really really fun, and uh, definitely have to ride that one again. It's not like hang time, hang down, hanging upside down on the on the inversions, and um, 
the seat belt had me like really strapped in, which is great for me. I absolutely loved it. That was awesome. Loving this. Fun little photo op for you and your family. You got any little mini Steelers fans going around the world here? <laughs> so right here is where the track actually converges and you have two parts of this track of that that go right underneath each other. You can actually look up and see the track above you. It'd be really cool if they put more than one train on it at a time, but they don't seem to ever do that. It's also a great ride as far as the way it looks in particular, but also in the views that it offers. Um, you can like see the steel mills here in Pittsburgh. Um, it's definitely a blast. <laughs> and so far, this is looking like a really pretty park too. So I'm gonna keep following these guys and we'll see where we head next because I have no clue where we're going. So right here's the stage for the 125th celebration. Looks like they already have people getting ready for it. So I imagine that's where they do all of their uh, seasonal events also. You have lots of different games you can do over here. And another arcade. I already showed you one earlier. There's another, looks like mini arcade over here. <laughs> oh, and there's Noah's Ark. A walkthrough activity. We'll have to go fit, hit that too. I, I hear that's like a fun house. So I'm definitely excited. You got all the biblical stories. Jonah and the whale. Noah's Ark. Yes, I know there are more Bible stories than that. Don't you, don't you, don't you. We have another themed area, Pittsburgh's Lost Kennywood. We'll have to go check that out too. So far, I'm really loving the look and feel of Kennywood right now. <laughs> this is really fun. Phantom's Revenge. Now we very clearly do not need this right now, but they do have the speedy pass here. And you can scan that to try to purchase your speedy passes if you'd like it. But it is really like nobody is here at all. It is supposed to rain for the hours of 12 and one o'clock. I don't even think we're there yet, um, but it's supposed to rain at that point. So we'll have to see what all we can do before that point. All right, so everyone in the group, at least all the Thuzies in the group, are saying this is the best ride in the park. It looks an awful lot like an arrow coaster, like a corkscrew coaster. And I'm not sure that I can agree with such an assertion, but we'll see what happens. Oh, we got some people for a show down here. Do you guys know me at all and you've watched this channel at all? You know I am always down for a show. Now I do like the very minimal, but still fun theme. So I'm not mad about that. And there are the steel mills I was talking about from the top of the last ride, steel curtain. This is sketchy like Indiana beaches. There's no way to, there's no gate to keep you from going and hurting yourself. So I see what they're saying about airtime. It's definitely a lot of airtime. And if you love airtime, if you love Magnum, you're going to love this ride. Uh, there's a lot of moments at the very end there where it like 
goes like this constantly. <laughs> Your whole body's moving like this. Um, I don't love those. It feels too, too much for me. So it's not my favorite thing. But definitely if that's something that you enjoy, you'll really love this ride. Um, for me, still, for me, still curtain is way, way, way better uh, by a long shot. But it's still very, very fun. We've got some weather blowing in right now, I think. But this is beautiful right here. The fountains. Oh, this is a water ride when it's fully running. I bet you can get a really good splash down at the bottom when you're standing right here. I like some of these things here at older theme parks where you go right underneath something. It feels a little bit sketch uh, because it's not as protected as other places, but that just makes it even more fun. Next is the exterminator. I have no idea what this is. Oh, maybe the indoor indoor coaster. They said it's kind of like a a mouse uh, ride like Cedar Point's newest, kind of. No line. I like the theming. Definitely feels like a like a sewer kind of. This is why I'm worried about Cedar Point's loading times coming up with the new wild mouse coaster. They're having to split up into two, two, and two on this ride. Sensors indicate movement of large unknown objects moving down the air shaft to your location. We got it. Headed down air shaft three now. More electrical ball. Keep up, guys. These rat heads are going down. Last. I'm not gonna drink and ride that ride, but it's definitely really fun. That is one of those rides where it, it's gonna be somewhat similar to Mouse Coaster at Cedar Point is going to be like, but uh, it's the one at Cedar Point's gonna be more fun, I think. At least it seems like that way. The theming inside is really what I like. Think the Ratatouille ride at Epcot. Um, it's actually almost well like themed. a yeah, almost like a factory even like. It's definitely fun. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. And uh, we are on our way now to whatever our next thing is. I no guess idea. these guys will decide. <laughs> I think we've ridden everything yeah. you want to ride now, right? Let's do Skyrocket. I don't know what that is. Oh, yes. Okay, I'll ride that. Yeah, sure. If it shoots you up in the air and that's all it does, no way. Now, I believe that this is the second weekend that Kennywood has been open. So... They're not running at absolute full speed, and you can see that there are a few things that are not open yet. Of course, like their main coasters and stuff, they're open and running, running pretty well. Most of them have been one train though, which I think is uh, surprising, let's just say that. They do have designated smoking areas right here. I remember these. My family always has loved bumper cars ever since going to Indiana Beach with my grandparents. So, obviously this was something that we had to hit when we came to Kennywood, uh, you know, years ago. Definitely have memories here. All roads lead to Kennywood. Skyrocket is not open right now. But you can buy Speedy Pass here for $49.99. The old mill. 
apparently this is the oldest ride at the park, which I guess I can see, but also this show building does not look like the oldest one in the park. So I'm sure it must've been redone. It does say historic national district. Originally built in 1901, but completely reconstructed in 1926. The old mill has gone through several name changes. Cool. This is looking fun. Let's go. That ride was very fun. <laughs> Takes you past a whole bunch of tableau of uh, basically skulls doing different things like hold ups or in this case stink ups. Um, there were a whole bunch of different like little comedy scenes. I really have to wonder what it was like at the time of its actual creation because it had a lot of like uh, glow, glow in the dark paint and stuff like that and it was using a vast amount of black lights in order to do it all. Um, so I have to wonder, was it like that from the beginning or was it something a little bit different? I'd really be interested to know if someone has more info on that, maybe some OG to this park. Um, but anyway, definitely really fun. And uh, I, I just love those little themed experiences like that. Now there were a whole bunch of spots where it would say um, fire extinguisher on the other side of the door. <laughs> Because the whole place is made out of wood and I'm sure it can easily uh, catch fire. So, uh, but still, definitely a fun place. And uh, now we are headed on to one more coaster. We are now in Skyrocket, right here by the road at the very front of the park where we entered earlier today. And one more walk on. Today has been a great day to come here. I'm not even sure what time it is, but it's been incredibly fast. It's 12.38 right now, time for this ride. <laughs> No redundant safety harness. I am not happy. Because <laughs> there's no redundant safety harness. <laughs> felt pretty effortless to me. That's a pretty fun ride. It's very simple. Um, an easy, fun ride to ride. <laughs> um, does kind of feel like an old ride, but a smooth old ride. Um, I don't know how old it actually is, but uh, it definitely feels a little bit, um, uh, it, it, it shoots you out real fast. Um, initially and then it stops you at the top twice at two different hills and then uh, just has you fall from each one. It's actually kind of nice. I don't mind it at all so it was good. So that was definitely fun. This ride is the kangaroo. We also have a civil war someone over here. I don't know who it is. Assuming civil war maybe maybe a revolutionary war maybe I could be wrong. Kangaroo let's go. 
So we have the speedy bass over here and the regular line over here. Make sure you sit all the way up in your seat with your feet flat. Not the same either way. Pretty sure I've actually ridden this before. This brings back memories. Ready to go? Let's do it. Woo! All right, how was it? That was actually kind of fun. I've never done it before. Johnny Rockets. They still have theirs here. Cedar Point, are you listening to me? Into the Parkside Cafe for something to eat, possibly, and definitely something to drink. Ooh, this is giving me Disney vibes right here. Come on in, right over here, the entry. They did not have drinks in there, so we're not going in there right now. Instead, we're gonna go find our next spot. Okay, you guys have told me to go in Noah's Ark. It looks cool, and these guys are all saying Noah's Ark is the cool thing. So, we're gonna go check that thing out right now. Spongy. The floor is spongy. <laughs> Some of the animals are making weird noises. Oh, this is a cool effect. Oh, it's because it's not an effect. It's actually water. That's cool. There is a handicap accessible route. But we're not going that way. Cool. Got into the fountain. Ooh. Boat's moving. Getting cool view. This is fun. I don't remember doing this. Whoa. I can't imagine I wouldn't have done it. It's cool. Kind of, it's not kind of creepy. Definitely kind of creepy. Oh, this way? <laughs> oh, this is trippy. Make sure you grab the rail. Oh my word. And you can get seasick in here. Oh, it's to moon. I know you can't see it on the video, but this whole thing is moving back and forth. You can actually see it here. Woo! It's kind of creepy too. But oh, this is cool. Oh, my word! Oh, that's awful, cool and awful at the same time. Bees, cool. Okay, handicap accessible this way, the mild way, or the wild way. This room may cause vertigo. Uh-huh. Yeah, I see it. Let's do the vertigo room. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> oh, I don't... This is... Yeah. All right. Let myself combobulate again. It's kind of fun. I'm all right with that. Definitely old school and definitely fun. Like, I think that's what makes this park so fun is a lot of stuff is very old school. But then there are a few things that are very new and uh, record breaking, so that's fun. And we are headed into Ghostwood Estate right here. We are kind of looking for some beer or something, but we're not finding it yet. Okay, I love the inside of this. Oh my word, it is the Haunted Mansion. 
It's just like the Haunted Mansion. I am down. Can't even see the fuzz on the chandelier. Estate. My name is Lord Kenneth Ghostwood. The house is now extremely overcrowded with spirits, and I desperately need your help to get rid of them. Please remember to stay seated at all times, and keep your arms and legs inside the car. If the buggy should stop for any reason, please remain seated and wait for my instructions. I would not want to alert the spirits to your location go down this hallway right here and then up these stairs after the show this is definitely cool kill the ghost before we get there guys I love it that this shows you what you're hitting Like you can see the sensors actually going, you can hear them. Um, Cedar Fair, listen up. <laughs> Your shooter games could be so much better. Although I do lo love those indoor coasters or shooter games one way or another. Next, we are riding Thunderbolt. I don't know if I rode this one before or not. This looks like one that I would have ridden. But it is a walk-on for every single ride that we have done so far today. Thunderbolt has a lap bar and a seat belt with it. Um, it is an old wooden coaster. It definitely looks like fun to me. We'll see what it's like and if I've ridden it before or not. Let's go. One thing that's really fun about this coaster park is that it's built right onto a hill. So <laughs> there are several times when you just go straight down and that's what you do right here. You come out of the station and you go right down. Once again, you must have a part of the line. Much smoother than a lot of wooden coasters that I've ridden. Reminded me of the Cornball Express, but less of a uh, beat beat you up <laughs> kind of a thing. Also, maybe a little bit less scary, a little bit less wild, but also very much fun. I definitely really like that ride. 
ride that constantly turns to the right, which means whoever is the smallest person should be on the right side because you're going to, to smash the person on your left constantly. Uh, and they tell you to do that when you get into it. Um, it is definitely a thing that you are going to notice in it though, but the entire thing is just a constant turnaround. And Phantom kind of winds its way through that track also, which is another part of the fun because there is a little bit of some near misses, which are definitely fun also. We got a concert going on, all in Steelers gear. the beer garden there's all kinds of stuff you can get including it looks like a little snack stand also but we're gonna get a drink right over here i had not tasted the two hearted ale yet so she gave me a very kindly a uh, sample and it's delicious so i did get the full cup of it that thing's real full too. <laughs> this is $14 uh, for a premium draft beer. And I do like it best on draft. I don't really love it in a can. So that's my favorite thing to do. So, but I'll finish this up before we start going. Now off to go get some food. All right, now I haven't talked about this beer, but I have tasted it a few times. It is a bit more of a hoppy beer. It tastes not too sweet at all. And it's also not too acidic, which I really like. I don't know that there's any lines that are big enough that we'll need to drink it in a long line. So <laughs> that is one good thing about a long, that is one good thing about a much longer wait is the longer the wait, the more time there is to grab a drink and to kind of just enjoy that while you have to wait in a long line anyway. But I don't need to wait in a long line. To do <laughs> there are no long lines. So, <laughs> so instead, I think we're just gonna kind of hang out. We are about to go grab something to eat. And um, then of course we can maybe even listen to those singers that I heard just a little bit. I can hear them right now also. Not sure if you guys can or not. Um, so definitely exciting. It's very fun. It's a little bit cold today. So like my eye is watering right now, which I know is a normal thing for me, but it's watering because it's cold <laughs> and because of allergies. It's kind of a perfect storm, but Gibbons back there having a photo shoot. So, <laughs> all right, I am headed to pizza warehouse. So it looks like fried mozzarella wedges, side salad, entree salad, whole pickle or alien cupcake, but those are the salads and sides. Interesting also, it says no alcohol behind this point. So I'm assuming this is the kitty land. So you can't bring alcohol back here because it's the kids area. Then you also have some combo meals. You have a chicken combo meal and a couple others also. This is the fries, $13.99 for cheese and pepperoni. Pepperoni are $10.99 each. All right, so we got some pizza from Pizza Warehouse here. This is just their cheese pizza. And then of course their beer, this half drunk or their beer from Beer Garden that is half drunk right now. All right, so the crust is a decent consistency. It's a little bit crispy on the side. It does feel like a cheap pizza. I'm always okay with cheap Italian, and this is no different. It's nothing to write home about, but it's delicious, and it's gonna fill you up in a spot when you need. There is a little bit of Italian herbs, and I did have them put a little bit of Parmesan on it. Also, you can ask them up at the counter to do that. Worth it for me, good. And it pairs very well with this beer, so I like that. The guys are over getting some potatoes. And I'm here sitting, eating some pizza, and drinking what's left over of my beer. 
<laughs> this line has our longest line yet. This is turtle. Maybe not our longest line yet, but respectively. Pound for pound, this is our longest line. I'm up for it. Very slippery seats all up in here. Okay. And we're gonna try to six, fit six full grown men <laughs> in here. Can we do it? We did it. Yes, we did. Is this a world record? <laughs> no music? I love music. another beer and we are headed out to go see a little bit more of the music. I chuck so nice the road. I wanna kiss myself so pretty. Too hot, hot day. For the police and the fireman. Too hot, hot day. Make a dragon want to reach out. to hit up Steel Curtain one more time. Let's try it one more time, see what we think. Now we do have some wait times here. 45 minutes for Steel Curtain. Let's see how accurate that actually is. Looks like it might be. This is a pretty decently long line at this point, so let's go. 45 minutes is perfect timing for me to finish up this piece. So that's what we're gonna do right now, let's go. Good idea, Billy. Like, we'll leave it in the locker room or with a teammate. Either way, let's keep it on. curtain drunk credit. It has been almost exactly 45 minutes since we got onto Steel Curtain or got in line for Steel Curtain. We're now here, ready to get on right now. You guys ready to go? Yeah. How about you guys? You ready to go? We're so excited. <laughs> Welcome back Steel Curtain Riders. How was that ride? Started with the front row, get the back row this time. Let's go. How was it? It was good. Was it worth it? Worth it, but it was weird sitting next to somebody I don't know. <laughs> it was fun while you're tipsy. A little toasty, he's right. 
a little toasty, it was great. I was not worried about dying. I just simply thought, I'm invincible. Therefore, come at me, world. It's not true, but it sounded good at the moment. All right, guys, do I need a steel curtain hat? So we are headed on to Racer right now. The one ride I remember riding here at Kennywood. So this ride was built in 1927, but it was modernized later on. And then as a part of the National Historic Landmark Association or designation, um, they changed it back to its original look at that point. I do love the original look of this ride, and I do think it's a really fun thing, especially with the uh, water that's right over there, the lake that's over there. Also, new hat, who this? I had to get a steel curtain hat. I love my hats, they're part of my brand. I need them, so, and I have too many of them. I have like 10 in my car at this very moment. So look for this hat while you're walking around Cedar Point this season. He gonna do it the wild given you can't contain him oh no he did it can't believe it went for the back row Jackrabbit, another wooden ride here at Kennywood. Now, the racer was a blast. That was definitely fun. It is really fun how it turns you out at the very beginning and immediately that ends up flipping you. Uh, so you're, if you start on the right, you're already on the left. And if you start on the left, you're already on the right. Um, but it's really trippy then because when you come back into the station, you're like, wait a minute, what? Because it feels like you're on the right the whole time. It just makes sense, but it doesn't make sense, you know, logically when you're doing it. Like, your brain viscerally doesn't make sense of it. Um, so, <laughs> you come back and you're like, wait a minute, how did I end up on the left side now? I started on the right side. I've reached my time in the day when I start falling asleep in lines. I'm just standing here, just tired. <laughs> All right, and let's go.
ride has the most incredible double down. <laughs> you start going fast, you kind of flatten out just a little bit, go straight back down again. And you're booking, you fly right up out of your seat, and all you have is a seat belt, not a lap bar, and really at all. It's incredible. <laughs> I'm not usually one for airtime, but that one was really fun. There is definitely a reason for its name. It is five o'clock and we have completed every roller coaster here at Kennywood. And we've completed more than that. <laughs> we've also ridden a few other rides like the old mill right here and a few other things too. And at this point, we are planning on just re-riding a couple of rides. So let's go. For you. The parking lot is very clearly pretty empty right now. Not a ton of people here. Of course, there's more all the way around there, but. Can't even see you, that's too zoomed in. A great ride. Not my favorite, it's not my favorite. And there is something about it that feels underdone. Like it was done by like a budget brand when it was made. Um, apparently that ride was made in 2010. When I compare it to Maverick, I'm like, no, not nearly as good. Brand new attraction for this year, not open quite yet. They have been testing it on and off throughout the day today though. Um, and then Cosmic Chaos is here. So I guess this is the alien section. <laughs> but this is Cosmic Chaos. We're going to be hitting this right now so let's go although i will not be hitting it because as you guys know i don't like these spinning attractions and this is one where you're facing outward also and it spins and that's like a double whammy of all badness so i'm not going to be writing this right i'm just watching them and i'll be videoing them while they get on it so that's always a fun thing to be able to do a youtuber in the wild this is what he does while he waits in line he sends texts Snapchats, Instagram messages, all kinds of things. Now, while I hop onto that ride though, this is a great opportunity to go check out a little bit of merch here in, okay, the Area 412 gift shop. It's like, is this really just called gift shop? Area 412 gift shop. Let's see what they have. Squishmallows, racer shirt. Peters, you must be as tall as the top of my hat to ride. Turtle, Kennywood merch, Kennywood tie dyes, those are cute. Kennywood bottles and sippers, some aliens, squid hats. We all love snakes. Cute Jenny Nicholson, and some other Kennywood shirts. Now, it doesn't really look like they have a ton for guys. This is mostly a, uh, maybe this stuff right here. Not a ton though, but yeah, quite a few things here at gift shop. <laughs> oh, gift ship. Oops, sorry, sorry. It's called the gift ship. I, I should have known. Gift ship is a much, much more clever name. I do like it that Cedar Fair Parks are starting to do a lot more with theming, but when that theming really doesn't make sense with the other things that are around it, it's a little bit confusing to me. For instance, right here we have a park, we have Johnny Rockets, we have a nice little restaurant. Um, it all looks much more classy. Uh, the merry-go-round, and on the other sides we have some other more like themed areas. They're themed to reality, to the world. So an alien theme really makes no logical sense. Where when you go like at King's Island, at least you have some separation. You're going underneath a roller coaster and then you go into Area 72. That makes a lot more sense, but here it's right in the middle of everything. And it doesn't really make any logical sense. Like it doesn't have to make perfect internal sense, but it does seem like it needs to make some sort of transitional sense as to why this part of the park would be the like forbidden area, but there's just no way to do that. Oh, and they're testing Battle for the Bird again. So let's check this out so you guys can see what it actually does. After it gets up to its height, then it starts doing this. I can't imagine, this just looks awful to me. But obviously someone will like it. What up? Uh, 
How was it? It was great. Dizzy. That's exactly why I wouldn't ride it. Because it's dizzy. It might have been taller than it looks. Yeah. It no. Up there pretty high. <laughs> nope. Kenny Wood does have like a little theater too. They need to do something with this. This is cool. It does show the different shows that are coming though. Bites and Pints. Uh, Celebrate America, Fall Fest, and Holiday Lights. And here we go into Phantom right now. Speedy Pass does not last all the way to the front of this line either. So if it's a really long line, just know that you're still going to have to wait a lot of line up this bridge um, for your Speedy Pass also. This day has gotten a lot nicer as the day has gone on, and because of that, the crowds have also gotten a lot bigger. So the crowds behind me here are much, much bigger now than they were the first time when we got in line earlier today. For the very first time today, we just ran into a broken down attraction. So there's going to be a slight delay, they said. They said it's probably not going to take very long, but there is a delay, so we all have to wait for right now. Next in line. It has been about 50 minutes and we're about to board the ride right now. So let's go. That ending was a doozy and it has me feeling green. I'm, oh, I'm already tired. And then when it does that, just like bouncing you. Now the, the first half was awesome and was very, very, very fun. I was going, yeah, this is way better than Magnum at that point. Uh, because it goes down one one hill and you kind of think that's as big of a hill as you're going to get. And then it kind of goes down to the right and then switches and goes down to the left and you go way down into a, uh, onto the side of the mountain. Um, so that's so much fun. Then you have at the very end this like, poof, 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 poof. It's just way too much for me. No way I'm riding this. The only way I've ever ridden something like this was when Patreon dared me to. And when I rode it, I felt like I was gonna poop the whole time. So no thank you, that, not gonna do it. Also, while you are here, if you love the experience, you can upgrade your ticket to a season pass. That's kind of a normal thing for <laughs> any theme park or experience you know if you come in you buy a normal pass and then you decide that you really like it then you can go for the rest of the season by just upgrading your pass and usually they'll discount uh, the ticket that you buy or the pass that you buy uh, by the cost of the ticket and back to skyrocket let's go one more time into skyrocket is this our third time today and if you want to do first you might Walk on, but a very quick wait. You excited? I'm so excited. Excited? Yes. This music. I love this music. Give you that throwback feel while you're walking through an old school amusement park. Squishmallows, kid sweaters, Kennywood kangaroo, Kennywood shirts, Squishmallows, and 
some swaddable babies, which are always so sweet. Magnets. This is one of those places with an atmosphere, and especially with the way that it sounds right now, with this throwback sound to it, to end the night with a 1930s on the boardwalk kind of a vibe. It's a nice place to hang out. Now today we were able to ride all of the coasters here before six o'clock and we weren't even trying. Um, so it was five o'clock and we had ridden everything, all of, the, all of the coasters. Of course, there are a lot of flat rides here, a lot of flat rides, um, way more than I even looked at today. Um, so there's definitely more that you can do, but we were able to ride all of the coasters today before five o'clock and we were able to re-ride five coasters tonight. <laughs> so I'd say that's a pretty decent run for our first time here at Kennywood. All right, very last ride of the night, Jackrabbit, which means we got one more done. Also six rides tonight. We're gonna do one real, real fast walk on before everything closes. Let's go, everyone. Let's go! I'm so excited. Last ride of the night. Last ride of the night. Last ride of the night, well, ride of the night on Jack Vlog section. Vlog section. For the stinger. That was a fantastic way to end our day here at Kennywood. Absolutely incredible. The music has stopped. It's now time to leave <laughs> for the night. And I, I mean, I have a massive ride home, so it's gonna be good to be able to go home. But. It was really fun to hang out here. I have a feeling they end the night every night in that very 1920s kind of a feeling way. Yeah, I love that about this. <laughs> I think that is really, really fun. Um, so, bye Kennywood, let's go. It is a really low attendance crowd today though, so probably we were able to do more than you normally would be able to do, but this was a pretty successful visit. Um, here to Kennywood. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Let's go! 10, 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah, it's a, new, so. it's a new theme park. Yeah, yeah and for you the new. experience was good. So, sure, absolutely 10 out of 10. Absolutely. Early on in the season, this park closes at 7 p.m. This is a very early close for any theme park, which is frustrating, I suppose. Um, but it's nice for us, because we can go home. Um, <laughs> but, get home at a good yeah, I can get home at a decent time, especially for me. I saw a total six hour drive to get back. But during the rest of the summer, they do close a little bit later on in the day. Um, we're talking more like 9 or 10 o'clock rather than 7 o'clock. I do have restrooms up here to the right. How was it, guys? Amazing. So two people need this Amazing. <laughs> You're not wanting to eat inside Kennywood. There are some options. You can go to Taco Bell or Popeyes or McDonald's right outside without even having to leave the parking lot. So that that's actually kind of a nice hack if you know the area pretty well you could pretty easily have access to all of that without having to um, do anything crazy down here there is bus and rv parking there is also a bus stop i don't know what that bus stop is for if it goes to like particular places or anything there's also a walkway that takes you straight to kennywood and you can take that walkway directly to Popeyes. <laughs> you also do have a place to wait at the bus stop. And if you pack a lunch or something, there are some picnic tables over here also where you can do like some tailgating or something like that. So just some options for you um, that I've noticed here at the very end of the day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Can you tell I don't really want to leave? <laughs>